So the final lesson around the chemical equilibrium is around the concept of La Chatelier's principle. So the learning outcome for today is that by the end of today's lesson, you should be able to discuss the effect on the equilibrium of a reaction when changes are made to that chemical system. So how often do I like to joke about the elements? I joke about them periodically. So systems in equilibrium remain unchanged as long as the temperature stays constant. So this is the reason why the uh, equilibrium constants give a certain temperature. At different temperatures, the equilibrium constants change. So the, whether the reaction favours the products or the reactants will depend very much on the temperature. So this is where Le Chatelier's principle comes in. So in a nutshell, systems in equilibrium will attempt to try and undo any change that you try and make. Okay, so if you increase the temperature, it's going to try and adjust the uh, equilibrium in order to get back to that equilibrium value. So one of the things you can change is the concentration of either the products or the reactants. So if you increase the concentration of a reactant, the equilibrium or the reaction will respond by decreasing the concentration of the reactant to start making more products. Correspondingly, if you're create, uh, putting products into a reaction, then it's going to push to create more reactants. In industry, what you do is you're taking away the products, so the reaction favours creating more products. The reactants, the equilibrium favours the products. And that's the example there. When you increase the amount of reactants, then what's going to happen, it's going to make more products. Okay, another thing you can do is you can change the temperature. So if you increase the temperature, this causes the uh, equilibrium to start to decrease the temperature and favour the endothermic direction or the endothermic reaction. Decreasing the temperature causes the equilibrium to favour the exothermic reaction. And if the, exo or the reaction is exothermic in one direction, it's going to be endothermic the other direction. So an example of that is if you want to increase the amount of combustion, which of course is the exothermic process, you should decrease the temperature because this allows the equilibrium to favour the exothermic direction, the exothermic reaction. So it's going to favour combustion. So the final thing we'll look at is pressure. And this only affects uh, systems which are at equilibrium when they're all gases. So if you increase the pressure of a system, by decreasing the volume of the reaction vessel, the system will want to decrease the pressure. And it will do this by favouring the side with the least number of gas moles. If you decrease the pressure by increasing the volume, the equilibrium or well, the system will want to get back to equilibrium and it will do this by increasing the pressure. And this will be done by favouring the side with the most gas moles this time. So in short, a Chatier's principle, you're changing the position of equilibrium. Equilibrium doesn't like that, so it's going to alter the ratio of reactants and products in certain ways to get back to equilibrium, what it wants. And the three things you can essentially change are pressure, temperature, and the other one is concentration. And that's pretty much it for reaction equilibrium lessons.